Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. Before I get started into the canister filter build, I thought I would show you the finishing touches to uh, last week's video. Last week's video was actually only intended to show uh, different styles for making inputs for hobs. Uh, but I ran the filter and it was empty and a number of people mentioned that you know you do need stuff inside it. So I thought I would put those pieces together because I had to anyway. Uh, this is going to go to Joe. So I wanted to actually have, you know, a finished product to send to him. And I thought I would show you guys what it would look like up and running. So here it is. It's got lid on it. I only use uh, a partial lid. I don't like full lids uh, going all across because I like extra gas exchange. Uh, but I find with a, a large bubble system like this, you end up with extra flow, but you also end up with a lot of splashing. So that guard is <laughs> necessary, at least at this end of it here. And the input, uh, sorry, before we do that, it actually has pretty good flow for, a, you know, an air-driven hob. Now, the basket that goes inside, uh, you can pack a sponge in there, um, lava rock, whatever you like. It's, uh, it's one of those things that's uh, designed so that you can do whatever you want with it. Now, I made it out of 16th inch, uh, Joe. Uh, I usually make it out of 8th. Uh, but I didn't have any kicking around. So I'm kind of curious. Let me know how that works out. It should be more than sturdy enough, but uh, uh, I always like getting feedback on these things. So definitely once you have it up and running, just uh, let me know how it works out. And I'll be getting that into the mail for you this week, Joe. Uh, you've definitely waited long enough for this, and I don't want to get it to you. Now this is a clip I've already showed you. Uh, this is the material I want to make the canister filter out of. Uh, I really want this to look really nice, so I'm going to go the extra mile on uh, making the finish better. The first piece there, you can see I ran through the lathe. Uh, this is uh, the saw cut one. I mean, the new saw looks really nice. I mean, it does a good job. But like I said, I want this to look uh, as nice as possible. I want this to be uh, as professional looking as uh, I can make it. Now, that means I have to develop a couple new techniques. And now, this is the arbor I've been using all along, and it makes great discs for uh, fit on the inside. But I need to find another way of making uh, discs that fit on the outside, and that's the reason why this video has been uh, cut into two pieces. But first, uh, these are going to be the cups that are going to hold uh, the materials for the filter. Now, I want them to nest together, and I want them to nest together. In almost a friction fit. I want them to be able to fit all together and then I can pick up the whole stack at once and put it into the filter. I mean there are a number of brands that do that and I really always like that and that's uh, what I'm gonna try for for this. Now I didn't want to leave these discs with uh, just one big hole through the middle uh, and actually I think I'm gonna be uh, doing something to uh, modify the center hole as well. Uh, but for the moment, what I want to do is uh, put a bunch of holes around the perimeter. And that way it'll spread the flow out better. And because I want them to all look the same, I made a quick template, or a quick arbor, whatever you want to call it. It's just a friction hold for them. And that way I can drill them all at once. Now, I don't have an indexer, so I'm just eyeballing the holes. Uh, but this way, at least I can get them uh, pretty close. And I think I did a reasonable job of that. So now I have a nice uh, spray system, and like I said, I will do something about the hole for the middle. Uh, I think I'll do something uh, similar to what I did for uh, the Guppy Fry water slide. Uh, that, unfortunately, she hasn't given birth yet, by the way, uh, so <laughs> that's still going to be a little ways off before I can do an update on that. But anyway, I'm going to do something similar to that so that I can get a nice flow through uh, the entire thing. Now, all that I've done before, but this is uh, where it starts getting into the point where... I need to develop something new. Now I've made large discs before and I've machined them so that I can uh, have them fit around the outside, uh, but I, I really don't like that way of doing it. It's, uh, it's not as accurate as I'd like. Uh, you can take uh, like two or three of these at once and I can put them in the chuck like this and then I can uh, machine through it, but it's like I said, it's, I can't go all the way through. As you see, it has, uh, it abuts right up against uh, the jaw of the chuck. So I can't go all the way through because I'll end up uh, 
well, either machining my jaw, which I don't really want to do, or uh, dinging up uh, the, the bit that I'm running through here. So I can only go like most of the way through. And it works, and then all I do is flip it around and I can do it again, but the hole is not as smooth as I'd like, and because in this particular case it actually has to be watertight, I, I want to come up with something different. And the option that I came up with is I built uh, or made some shims for uh, the chuck so that uh, this, they're only 16th inch thick, but <laughs> a 16th inch on a lathe is actually an awful lot of space. Um, so that way what I can do is I can cut through, unfortunately, only one at a time, but uh, I can machine through uh, accurately. And the other thing I did is instead of uh, gradually uh, coming out to the edge like I've been doing all along, which takes quite a while and also produces an awful lot of shavings, uh, I am going to you know, cut through the whole thing all at once. And uh, that does produce a disc that's spinning there that needs to go somewhere, uh, but it's easy just to break, make a shield to, to have it. It is only acrylic after all, so it's uh, no real big deal. But the end result is, is it produces a very nice smooth uh, finish that I can uh, then, you know, uh, well, let's say it's, this is going to fit outside the tube and it's going to need to, uh, like I said, be watertight because this tube is going to sit down like this and it, it needs to be glued up. And like I said, I don't want any channels where water can escape. So that is actually as, <laughs> as smooth as that's going to get. Now, I don't want the bottom also to just be a square piece of acrylic sitting on this. I mean, the whole point of doing this is to make it look really, really nice. So what I'm going to need to do for this is I'm going to, first off, I'm going to you know, use a saw just to cut off the extra bit of square. Like, I don't want to, you know, putting this in the lathe is going to put a fair amount of pressure on it. So two things that, like I said, i got to do. First, I want to move, remove as much material as possible before I actually do the, the lathe part. And also, I have to let this cure for a day. I mean, the methylene chloride sets up really fast. But for it to be 100%, you have to give it at least, uh, at least a few hours. So I gave it 24 because I didn't want this to, uh, to fail. I wanted it to look, like I said, as neat as possible. So there you go, I'm just uh, gluing up the cups while I'm telling you about that part. Uh, that's uh, nothing new, and these are just going to nest together like that. And it's uh, actually really quite a nice fit that way. So, let's get on to the tricky part. <laughs> and that is going to be uh, mounting this so that I can uh, machine this so that it is a, a, a perfectly nice fit. So you can see I've hacked that off. I was just to put it through the saw. It's uh, nothing special about it. And then I'm going to gradually machine this down. Now the nice thing is because I'm using uh, I'm the pressure I'm putting is on the from the jaws is from the inside. As you can see here, it is uh, holding it uh, not from the outside but from the inside. Uh, that means I can machine this right down to uh, the actual diameter of the uh, of the original round disc. And actually, <laughs> the smooth finish I get off this is really nice. I really like it. I'm showing you the stages as I go along here. Uh, but eventually it just gets down to the point where it's really quite neat and easy and even and I really do like that. Now the thing is I could leave it uh, with this extra lip on it but I decided what I wanted to do to, again just to make it look as neat as possible is I'm going to machine this right down so that they are uh, the same diameter and I think it looks uh, really quite nice that way. So this is going to be the base for uh, the canister filter. I'm going to set this inside here and glue that up and that is going to be the bottom for the filter. And I think it looks really kind of cool, especially after I take off that uh, <laughs> the blue padding that's on there. So I'm going to do that as a quick glue up here. Uh, and that's pretty much as much as I can fit in this video. Uh, on Friday's video I will uh, get this all up and running for you and let me know what you think of uh, the look of this. I mean, I think it looks really quite cool. I mean, like I said, it fits really nicely together, and it's uh, definitely not tacky like having a square bottom on it, and I, I really didn't like that. So anyway, if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe, and like I said, I always appreciate, and I definitely try to answer all the comments I get. Uh, let me know what you think about this, and uh, what you think of how it's going to look. 
so I'm going to just glue this up and then I'm going to show you that the, the can the um, I've done up I think three of the inserts at this point and I'm just going to show you what that looks like as well but again that'll be all for Friday's video and I will definitely have this up and running so that's uh, the way they nest together and that's the way I want them to go I, want, I mean the third and the fourth one I haven't done yet uh, but they'll fit together like that so there you go thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next video and uh, bye for now